how do we evaluate this problem which says find the square root of 6 plus root 35. Before I solve this problem, I'll quickly take us through a simple explanation. If you have the sum of two numbers, a plus b, and you square it, this is a known identity which will give us a squared plus b squared then minus 2ab. That is expanding the left hand side gives us the right hand side. Now what if we want to get back our original sum? We will then need to find the square roots of both sides like this. which will take care of this square and this square root leaving us with a plus b which we started with initially on the left hand side but the right hand side remains the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab or we rewrite the equation as the square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to a plus b. If I compare the equation that we are given, which is the square root of 6 plus root 35 to what we have on the left, of 6 plus root 35 is equal to a plus b. What this means is that 6 plus root 35, which is under the radical, can be directly equated to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Because if we find the square of both sides here, this right hand side when expanded would definitely give us this. And what we need to do is to do comparison of sorts and 6 will be compared to a squared plus b squared while root 35 will be compared to negative 2ab. This is the beginning of the solution to our problem. If I rewrite that as a squared plus b squared is equal to 6 and negative 2ab is equal to root 35 and take the square of both sides on the second equation, it will mean that 4a squared b squared is equal to this takes care of this and we have 35 here. From the first equation, we can say that a squared is equal to 6 minus b squared, meaning that I can substitute the new value of a squared into the second equation which will now give us 4 into 6 minus b squared then times b squared equal 35. We'll refer back to this equation for a squared but let's solve for b squared first. Open up this first part of the equation which is this one. We have 4 times 6 is 24. So I have 24. Then minus 4b squared. Then times b squared is 35. Then open up the rest of the brackets. This will be 24b squared minus 4b raised to power 4 is 35. In order for us to solve for b, 
I'm going to make a substitution for b squared. Let m be b squared. And what this means is 24m minus 4m squared is equal to 35. Let's rearrange this equation in descending order of power for m. This will give us 4m squared minus 24m plus 35 is equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation that we can solve and the unknown variable we are looking for is the variable m. So to solve this we can use a lot of methods but we'll first check if this is factorizable. What we have at the center is negative 24 will be negative 10 and 14. So minus 10 minus 14 would give us minus 24. I'll go ahead and replace negative 24 with this new sum. Then I have 4m squared minus 10m minus 14m plus 35 is equal to 0. Let's factorize 2m then we have 2m minus 5 then minus 7 is common here then we have 2m minus 5 is equal to 0. This means 2m minus 7 into bracket 2m minus 5 is equal to 0. For most of us, we already know what to do from here. But to solve for m, we say either 2m minus 7 is equal to 0 or 2m minus 5 is equal to 0. Solving from the first one, m is equal to 7 over 2. And from the second one, m is equal to 5 over 2. So I said, let us represent b squared with m. That was what we did here. So we've solved for m. We can now make our substitution by saying... The first one we got was 7 over 2. So b squared is 7 over 2. Or b squared is 5 over 2. We can now solve for b. In the first one, that will be the square root of 7 over 2. And the second one, b, is equal to the square root of 5 over 2. So now that we've gotten our values for b, we can then solve for a. Remember the equation I said we'll get back to here, which is this. a squared is 6 minus b squared. Now we are going to substitute the values we got for b to get the corresponding values for a. That's a squared is 6 minus b squared. a squared is equal to 6 minus b squared. So we start with the first one. When b is 7 over 2, a squared is equal to 6 minus, rather root 7 over 2. So we have root 7 over 2 here squared a squared is 6 minus then this gets rid of this we have 7 over 2 here giving us a squared is equal to 12 minus 7 over 2 which gives us 5 over 2 and then a is the square root of 5 over 2 which 
happens to be the second value of b. This means that if we are to solve for a squared, when b is root 5 over 2, we will definitely arrive at this initial value of b. We can try it for those who may not understand what I'm saying yet. So this is our equation, remember. So we put the second value of b, which is root 5 over 2. So we say a squared is 6 minus root 5 over 2 squared. This squared gets rid of this square root. So a squared is equal to 6 minus 5 over 2. Finding the LCM of the right hand side, we have 12 minus 5 over 2. Or we can say a squared is equal to 7 over 2. And then to get a, we find the square root of both sides, which now gives us 7 over 2. This was what I was explaining earlier. And if you observe closely, you see that this second value of a is the first value of b. And the first value we got for a was the second value we got for b. So it means these two solutions, this and these, are the two roots that we are actually looking for, meaning that the square roots of 6 plus root 35, which is our problem initially, is going to be the sum of a and b this is a now, which is root 5 over 2, and then plus the second value, which is root 7 over 2. And this brings us to the end of this problem. If you have any question, kindly ask in the comment section, and I'll be glad to respond to the problem. Or if we have any other person who have a better solution, only use the connection, let's share knowledge, and I will see you in my next video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you are yet to do so.